Hello, and welcome to another episode of Around and About Temecula. I'm your host, Jeff Lawrence. Although we've taken a little break in our filming, that doesn't mean nothing's happening here in Temecula. In fact, we just celebrated another playground reopening, and we have some really cool Halloween-themed events planned for you this month. On top of that, we'll be celebrating our city's 30-year anniversary in December. It's gonna be big. And don't forget to watch some of our past episodes of Around and About Temecula. You may just discover a new park or program to enjoy with your family. But you don't want to hear it all from me. So let's get started with the show. Did you know that Temecula became a city on December 1st, 1989? I can't believe that we are turning 30 years old. I actually started working for the city not long after we incorporated in the early 90s and can still remember how small we were. Now we've grown a lot in a short amount of time, but somehow we've been able to keep that small town feel. Temecula really is a great place to live and raise a family. But what would an anniversary be without a celebration? It's my privilege and honor to be the city manager for the city of Temecula. My name is Aaron Adams and I'm standing here in front of the beautiful city hall and some small signs that have been put up all year long honoring and acknowledging a 30 year anniversary for the city of Temecula. We would like to invite all of our community out on December 1st of this year from 2 to 6 p.m. for a family friendly event and celebration right here in the Town Square Park. The 30 year anniversary event will be family friendly. We'll have live music, we'll have children's activities and giveaways, and we're gonna have free food, hot dogs and hamburgers for the first thousand people that show up. We have one other very special surprise. You may have seen him on national television. He recently won the 2019 America's Got Talent competition. His name is Cody Lee. He's a special and phenomenal talent and he resides right here in the valley. And he is going to be here on December 1st performing with his band, Cody Lee and the Midnight Satellites. Free concert, bring your chairs, bring your blankets, come out and support and show your love for Cody Lee and the city of Temecula Happy 30th birthday. For more information, you may visit our website at temeculaca.gov. Hey Temecula, do you like trains? Or maybe you're just looking for a new playground to explore with the kids. If you answered yes to one or both of these questions, then you're definitely going to want to head down the tracks to our newly renovated playground at Rotary Park. This playground is sure to amaze and entertain the little train enthusiasts in your family. So hop aboard the Temecula Express and join me as we learn more about this awesome new playground. All aboard! I'm Mayor Pro Tem James Stewart. Everybody calls me Stu. We just opened a new park here on Pujol Street. It's our railroad theme park. So a lot of people think Measure S is for public safety. Well, recreating our parks is public safety. I mean, all these kids are now playing on brand new safety rated equipment that a lot of our equipment was old and just feeling unsafe. So we're, we're really thankful that uh, Measure S passed because it does allow for parks like these to be recreated. We've, we've actually themed all of our parks that we're redoing. And as you can hear, the kids are having a really good time. So bring your kids out and enjoy another great Temecula Park. Hi, my name is Adam Ruiz, and I'm one of the commissioners for the City of Temecula's Community Services Department. And I'm here at Rotary Park for our ribbon cutting this morning as we are unveiling the brand new train style theme park that we've got down here. And if you don't know, 
The railroad is a long time part of Temecula's history, dating all the way back to the late 1800s. Railroad actually ran right next to the park, straight down to where the train station used to be, right at the end of Main Street. So if you look around the park, you'll see we've got obviously the large train set up, we've got a great swing set with some theme to it, and then there's also a whole play area that says Temecula Station right on it. So hopefully you'll come down to the park and enjoy all the amenities and bring a friend with you as well. I'm also here, I'm part of the Temecula Valley New Generations Rotary Club as our club just adopted this park, meaning we will be down here at least monthly, making sure everything stays fresh and clean and enjoyable for everybody. Brand new community involvement program that the city rolled out and we're just blessed to be able to adopt this park. So hopefully you can join us down here at Rotary Park and we look forward to seeing you. Are you searching for some fun and safe Halloween events to enjoy this month? Look no further, because our special events team has been busy preparing some ghoulish family favorites that you're not going to want to miss out on. Round up your little ghosts and goblins and head to our spectacular Halloween carnival. It will be a spooky good time. Into your house, into our Halloween home decorating contest, and join us on a free Halloween themed bike tour. Who knows, you might just run into my two friends, Jason and Freddy. So be on the lookout and have a happy Halloween, Temecula. Hi, I'm Tracy Kortz with the Special Events Team. Halloween is creeping up on us and we have some fun events planned for you. Is your front yard filled with terrifying tombstones or spooky spiders? Then you should enter the Halloween Home Decorating Contest. The judging categories include scariest, funniest, most original, and best theme. Choose the category that fits your home the best when you enter online. If your house isn't decorated but you'd still like to see some spectacular homes, join us for the Halloween themed bike tour on Saturday, October 26th. We'll meet at Harvesting Community Park at 7 p.m and admire all the decorations the neighborhood has to offer. This is a free guided bike tour for experienced riders and pre-registration is recommended. Lastly, don't forget to come out to the Halloween Carnival the night before the tour. We'll be taking place at the CRC parking lot from 5.30 to 8.30 p.m. on Friday, October 25th. For a $5 wristband, participants can enjoy unlimited games and prizes, but it does exclude purchases from food vendors. You can try a round of ghoulish golf, have your face painted, or enter in the costume contest with categories for witches and goblins of all ages. This is a fall favorite you don't want to miss. For more information on these upcoming programs, visit us at temeculaca.gov events. This month is filled with a host of exciting, fun-filled programs and events you won't want to miss. Be sure to mark them down on your calendars. These were just a few of the activities happening this month in Temecula. We encourage you to view the entire lineup of TCSD events at TemeculaCA.gov slash TCSD. Well, that's all we have for today. I hope to see you around and about Temecula. Music